Hello, YouTube friends. I am talking to myself. I know I am, because I haven't told anybody that I'm doing this live stream. And um, so I'm going to just be sitting here chatting. And um, the reason why I'm doing this live stream on New Year's Eve is because I was, I've spent the whole day. Oh, hello from Cornwall. Hello, Elsie. Uh, I'm doing this very impromptu live stream here uh, on uh, New Year's Eve, uh, uh, new, new lockdown Eve. <laughs> uh, I've had the most frustrating day. Uh, I've been trying, uh, hi Heather, I've been trying really hard to make a video all day. I was going to, uh, I, I filmed loads of it. Hello Jessica. Hello everybody. Hello, I know. Here I am. <laughs> I filmed loads of it. And um, it was going to be a retrospective. <laughs> so nice that you're all here. That's lovely. It's going to be a retrospective of um, the whole year. And my computer has died. It's died. And I thought instead of just going to bed and um, not, it was going to be a really nice retrospective post. Of, of the whole year I'd got half of it done and then the first of all the app crashed that I was making it in iMovie ah oh, you don't want to hear all of that hello everybody it's so 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 sweet to see so many people hello I thought I would sit here ah Linda you're here I hoped there'd be a moderator here Linda will you moderate thank you great so I haven't done a live stream on the main channel since the last time, which was about a year and a half ago, and I found it really stressful because of all this. <laughs> I can't keep up with all you lovely people uh, chatting away. But what I thought I'd do, I thought I'd sit here for a bit. Not sit and knit for a bit. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet, all of you. Hello, everybody. Hello. No worries. Great. I thought I'd sit. I've got my... Um, so I'm working again on this... Uh, for Agnes and here I've got my board here with a, a long one long strip so <laughs> don't squeal <laughs> you're fine um, I've, I, I kind of figured with everything that's going on um, nobody's having New Year celebrations in the UK nobody unless you live on the Isles of Scilly then they're having all having a lovely time uh, feeling very smug about the fact that they live uh, so far away from everywhere. And so I thought I want I've really wanted to wish you a happy new year. I've spent all this time making this movie that no one's ever going to see my dead computer right behind me here. So I thought, well, no one can go anywhere. No one can go out. I'll sit here. I'm going to get my stitching here. I'm stitching this is Agnes's. Uh, thank you so much, everybody. You're all marvellous, too, which is why I wanted to be here. It's not about me. It's about us, isn't it? I mean, come on. This is the lime green sofa live. <laughs> it really is. And so I'm going to put my glasses on, guys, and my thimble. But I thought I'd just sit with you for a bit. And um, so now this is uh, this is what. So when I sew this thing of Agnes's. I've got it all laid out there and I've got a big run of it here on this um, board all just pinned on and the way that I can not get muddled up when I pick it up when I've been away from it I put a red dot or any colour doesn't have to be red I put a dot on the back so that I know that that's the top one so that then when I pick it up I know that I'm actually attaching them from here so boil and bake cake, good, excellent. Now, Anna Jackson, not my Anna, <laughs> another Anna Jackson. There's two of you. <laughs> okay, guys, so uh, I'm just gonna do this and see if I can keep up with the chat. I think there might be a way of keeping the chat on the board. Um, all messages are visible. There we go. Because they just disappear. There we go, that's fine. I can see you all for a bit longer now. You don't disappear quite so fast. So there you all are all over the all over the world. Oh, you're trying to make a fabric star. You'll get it soon. You will. Just keep you follow the instructions. I'm I've not I'm not the only one with instructions on the YouTube's about that. Not at all. 
And I put this on thinking, there'll be nobody on the YouTubes. But there's 250 of you here. <laughs> it's really, really nice. Yes, and this is a live sofa. Uh, and what I've, what I've got, this is very boring, water. <laughs> I'm not a great drinker, even though it is, what is it, 10 o'clock on New Year's Eve. But I've also got this little testing, what's it called again? It's the tasting set, let me close it up, you can see, of chocolate uh, bars from uh, Divine, which is a fair trade chocolate company. And these are the chocolate bars I bought to put in the kids' um, advent calendars that I made. And I bought uh, uh, enough for... It's wonderful to see you too. Happy New Year to all of you. Happy, happy weird year. I mean, come on, it's been the strangest year, hasn't it? I mean, let's not talk about that. That's really quite dull. So, OK, guys, what are you all doing for New Year? Um, so about 10 minutes ago, because um, what is it? 10 o'clock here. I heard a load of fireworks going off. I thought, who's that setting fireworks off in a, a, a tier four lockdown? But I know exactly who it was. It was my lovely neighbours who live about half a mile away. And they've got four boys. And they'll have got the fireworks in before they were told they couldn't go out and do anything. Are you coming up here? Come on. Come and say hello. There we go. Look, we're live, Nor. Norma says I'm not bothered. As long as I can sit on your knee. Husband and son can burn with COVID, yeah. So, yeah, now I have family too. I'm not close family, but uh, I have family too. But my dad got the vaccine the other day. <laughs> How cool is that? 95 years old. And there's our girl, Norma. And I can hear the others. Um, I've just fed them. I just gave them some. I gave them some Christmas treats that I got for them at Christmas that we had left over. And I thought, well, they can have some more of those for New Year. Yeah, 10 p.m. here, so you must be uh, 10 p.m. It's 10 p.m. here, too. Yeah. Uh, and if it ever quits raining, we were promised snow today, which is why I'm wearing my scarf, because I'm quite cold. Uh, <laughs> what have I been doing today? I mean, apart from all the frustration. Norma, say hello. Kim's saying hello to you. Say hello. No, she's not going to. Hanging with the cats, making a big bowl of pasta and watching Humphrey Bogart. I watched a movie last night while the computer was still working. I watched um, Not Far From Hercules. Hercules, they'll be open again next year, hopefully. What a year they've had as well. I watched a film called, I'm not going to get the title right. It's called The Guernsey Literary Potato Peel Pie Society. I'm giving vaccines to people. Well done, Jane. You keep going with that. Anyway, it's going to be a, a film I heartily recommend. It was absolutely super. Um, Manitoba. Oh, we tell everybody where you're all from. And then you can all make friends in, uh, uh, in the live sofa. Anyway, I've done two stitches, guys. And my plan was to sit here and stitch with you. Will you settle? Yeah, I've got to have to settle or go down or one or the other. So um, <clears throat> I saw my kids a couple of days ago. Um, I'm still trying to work out whether I'll be able to because uh, I was I was looking after Agnes one day a week. I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to do that still, but we'll see. Hello from Princeton. VW. No, WV. WV, where's that? West Virginia. There you go. You could test me if you like. I'm getting quite good at all those states now. <laughs> West Virginia. Sounds lovely. Sounds absolutely lovely. New Jersey. Yeah, yeah. If you write it like that, that's not a quiz, is it, really? <laughs> don't, don't quiz me. I'm too stressed by all this computer stuff. What I really need is a next door neighbour who is an Apple genius. That's what I need. So South End on Sea. Hello, Janet. Um, yes, yes, it is. Being a grandmother is, uh, I mean, no matter what else I've done in my life, being a grandma is the best thing. Leicestershire. I, I, I used to have friends in Leicestershire. Oklahoma, Minneapolis. Here you all are. 
M-O, Missouri. I know that one. Uh, Idaho, done three stitches now. Reading, Pennsylvania, New South Wales. Just a minute, what was that one? I missed that one. Oh, thank you, one, two, three. Thank you all. Thank you all very, very much indeed. It's been rather a marvellous year. You know, it's been a year of many strands, hasn't it? And it's been, um, yeah, New York, that's easy. PA, Pennsylvania, uh, Tennessee, UK. I know that one. Sea Houses. Hello, Francis. Sea Houses is rather lovely. Yeah. Um, it's been a, a, a year of many. This is what I was making the video about. You know, I spent the most of the day, I actually went and had a nap because I was so frustrated with it. And when I came back, nothing would work. Ohio, OH. TX, Texas, got ya. Um, PA. I've done that one already, haven't I? Pennsylvania, PA. Nope. Um, and so the video was all about um, look at what a great year we've had and also what a rubbish year we've had but what a great year we've had and we have you know you take from it the things that I think there's been a huge amount more knitting sewing and um, handcrafting done huge amount more uh, while we've all had the time to do it I mean there's been a huge amount of sadness as well huge amount but um, I don't know we're stoical aren't we we just get on with it. We do. Anyway, I'm stitching this because, um, well, quite frankly, I was sick of seeing it behind me in a state of unfinishedness. New Orleans. Ontario. I've been to Ontario. Holland. Michigan, I'm guessing. Wish I lived closer, Kate. Yeah, you could help with the Apple stuff. You could. I mean... At the moment, what's happened is the apple is on the screen and half the progress line is frozen. And so I don't even know how to fix that. I can fix most things on it, but it's uh, it's completely given up now. Uh, it's not worth talking about. So there you are. I've stitched one. Yeah, I've still got quite a long way to go with this, uh, which is great because I'm really enjoying doing it. You know, I'll sit here and do a few stitches and watch a film of an evening. And Happy New Year from New Brunswick, St ah, Staffordshire. What's that one? Let me have. Oh, so Daisy. Oh no. Northampton, Germany. Hello. Arkan Arkansas, Arkansas. Okay. Hi, Pamela. What's happening now? Let's just. Oh, there we go. Yeah. It is a great place. Oregon. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. I've really enjoyed this last year of content creation, of making content for you guys. And I make it for me too. You know that. I mean, the thing that's stuck, got me more stuck than anything at the moment is the, the amount of stuff I've created for the Patreon channel for the beginning of next year. And I can't access any of it. Liverpool. Yeah. I used to live in Southport. In fact, I was born in Southport. It's just up the road from Liverpool. Let's get a bit more cotton. Oh, I, I, you guys, 452 of you. Oxfordshire, hello, B. Oxfordshire, somewhere I've never been. Pitlockery, yeah. Travel through Pitlockery. Bit of a skiing sort of place, isn't it? Right, now this is when, when you pick it up and you don't know which end it is, you've got a dot to remind you it's this end. Prince Edward Island is somewhere I'd really, really, really love to go, Linda. I'd love to visit there. It looks amazing. Um, it really does. And it's, it just sounds so attractive. Prince Edward Island. Agnes, Judith, how did Agnes like her doll? Well... Agnes, um, she's 15 months old. And so what does she know about dolls, really? Not very much. But she opened up this doll. It was in loosely wrapped tissue paper. She opened it up and she she just immediately picked it up and then just gave it a massive hug and just started rocking backwards and forwards with it. It was 
absolute joy and absolute delight. She loves it. It won't have a name until Agnes has got a few more words, but one of her words now is dull. <laughs> no, Norma, don't get caught up in my scarf. She's got long nails. Hello, Sunderland. Hello, Betty. That's just up the road. Okay, Oklahoma. Hello. This is our plan for next vacation. Now, I was thinking with uh, John and Anna about uh, a holiday. We, we were really, really planning it. Worcestershire, Redditch. Hello. Um, Dover. I love the dog you made. I paint reborns. Oh. Yeah, the doll. She loved it. So John and Anna and I were talking about having a holiday. John would want to do loads of bird watching, of course. Hello, Kathleen. <laughs> and Anna and I would just enjoy. Um, I love Anna's company. She's great. Yeah, it was really nice, uh, Christine. So we were thinking we would got all the maps out and everything. And we were thinking and got all the hello from Berlin, somewhere else I've never been. Cheshire, somewhere I definitely have been. Um, we were going to go to Finland. I don't know whether or not. Um, ha, Australia. Robin, what time is it? It's quarter past ten here. It's Happy New Year. It's New Year's Day for you, Robin. You're, you're already there, aren't you? You're in tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Um, Finland is, is where we were thinking about going. Um, and um, I honestly don't know if we should be planning trips like that. I don't know. Tucson, Arizona, Newfoundland, Canada. This is lovely, absolutely lovely. So no, we're not, we were getting quite excited about planning a trip, the three of us. Ah, Tasmania. And you're doing hexes. Excellent, let's all get our hexes out. Uh, I sew mine in long strips like this. It's just, it doesn't really matter how you do it. Um, Nebraska. It doesn't matter how you do it. People ask me all the time, you know, do you sew it in rosettes? Do you sew it in strips? You sew it in whatever's comfortable in your hand, uh, basically. That's what I'd say. And I, I find strips the easiest way to do it. When I did that big... Um, use, ah! Jan is in New Zealand. And it's tomorrow already. When do you remove the papers from the hexes? That's a good question. Is a question I get asked every time anybody sees this hexi quilt. They say, when you remove the papers, that's an, again another um, preference thing. And I take them out at the absolute end when I finished the whole quilt, I take them out. And I'm going to be explaining about this when I talk about Agnes's quilt a bit more. But... Um, if you take some of the papers out in the middle, basically, oh, congratulations on your Sizzix. If you take some of the papers out in the middle and then you're handling them to sew on the bits that you've got, you know, the next part, then it pulls on the bit that's got no papers in. And so I like to, to have it all have the same value, the same feeling, the same weight. South Dakota. You see, you guys, you were all just not doing anything on New Year's Eve, weren't, weren't you? The, the whole world is sort of like holding its breath a bit, isn't it? So what I do, and I, it, take, it might take me um, a whole day to take the, the papers out of this quilt when it's done, but I will wait till the end uh, to do that. It's the way I do it. I think there's many different ways of doing it. There's no one way, is there? So, New York. Well, I should be working remotely. Oh, well, don't, don't, oh, you can make me the excuse if you like. I had to watch it. There's no, t I had to, I couldn't do any work. Pass over the pink cushion. Yeah, look how many people are on the sofa. Yes, the sofa. Uh, the cushions. Let's see, what can we do for the sofa in 2021? Uh, more. Uh, I think it's pretty perfect just as it is. But we could always have, um, I don't know, um, maybe we could have waitresses. <laughs> that would be good, wouldn't it? Having people coming and waiting on us hand and foot. Or maybe not. 
an entire hexane flower garden on the machine to prove it could be done. Well, there's a first. Never heard of that being done on the machine. Hello, Katrine. Hello, Essex. <laughs> oh, this is lovely. This is lovely. So I've got this chocolate here. I don't really fancy any chocolate. I had a baked potato for my supper not long ago. What time is it? It's 20 past 10 in the evening. Um, yeah, 20 past 10. Footstools. Yeah, patchwork footstools were mentioned some time ago. Um, how much does one tip for sofa food delivery? Ooh, I think your tip would be uh, some really good sort of crafting tip that you could pass on. Your best crafting tip. It wouldn't have to be money at all. No monetary value. Oh, you've got a neighbour there, uh, Linda. The um, what I've loved about that the whole concept of that sofa is how it's taken on a sort of like it's caught everyone's imagination all around the world, uh, and then the Australia where it's already tomorrow. Yeah, footstools. We've got footstools. Just there they are. Nice patchwork footstools. Yes, get your needle and thread out. I just love how it uh, for, for some people it's really caught the imagination of um, of the fact that we can just all be community together. Here I am. It's 20 past 10 in the evening in a cottage in Northumberland in the middle of nowhere. With a cow in my knee and a bit of stitching here. And I'm talking to people from uh, the middle of the U Michigan and... Um, you stop telling me where you're from. New Jersey. Um, do you know any of the people from Last of the Summer Wine? I don't know the people, but Homeforth, where it was filmed, I know Homeforth. Yeah, my summer is like Hogwarts. Yeah, Homeforth is beautiful uh, in Yorkshire. Really, really lovely. So California, there you all are, you see. Canada, which is a beautiful place. Vancouver, lovely. Oh, up she gets. OK, don't knock anything over. Thank you very much. Pennsylvania, Texas. And you're doing your EPP, Brenda. Good. Let me just move that. You're going to knock that off, aren't you? There we go. Philadelphia. And I love it. I just love that we're from everywhere. And um, yes, but we've all got this fantastic creativity in common. Together, you see, we could cover the world with quilts and knitting and crochet, couldn't we? We could. Yeah. So. Tennessee. All creatures great and small. Are they filming all creatures great and small again? I went to school with um, a lovely girl called Alwyn, who was the vet nurse for the original guy who. Brazil. Who was the vet nurse for the original real character on which all creatures great and small was based. Uh, yeah, 600 watching. Where did you all come from? Because I didn't tell anybody I was going to do this. I just turned the camera on. Um, 600. And have you seen the subscriber rate? It's insane. And that was all due to uh, Glastonbury. Hello. That was all due to Arne and Carlos, you know. They were great giving me that. Just such lovely support. Nice people. Michigan. Lansing. Michigan. Why do I know of Lansing? Uh, and there I was on the sofa, Sharon. Yeah. So ah, oh, you get a notification if you if you've subscribed. <gasps> I never thought about that. Of course you do. Of course you do. I wonder if there's hundreds more people doing live streams tonight for New Year. Now that everyone's sitting at home. Yes, click the bell. Arn and Carlos, they are so entertaining and they're so lovely. Because what you don't know is that um, they did that lovely shout out to me, but they also, uh, I e Carlos emailed me from time to time and we, and I email him back and we have a chat about this and that. And um, and they sent me a lovely Christmas present and um, they, uh, they're just absolutely delightful. They really are. They've been such um, good friends to me over in Norway there. And... Um, it's been really interesting learning about how they make um hello from tipperary it's a long way 
Sorry, you get that all the time, don't you? I'm sorry. That's a terrible joke to make. I apologise. Um, yeah, I'm interested in their setup. Cheese balls and crackers. They've just gone down the sofa. Cheese balls and crackers, guys. Snack for you while they come past. Yes, and New Year wishes all around. They they've got such a setup. Those those two. Because they work with a team, in fact. They don't. It's not just the two of them. I envy them their team. Because they're sure to be somebody. Ah, hello from Cumbria. Now, I wonder if it's snowing there. Uh, the, oh, the, the, Judith, I'll tell you about the hens. Because um, I went down to see to the hens today. Because they're... And the goose. They're... Um, water's frozen every day at the moment. So I'll have to go down with hot water and defrost that for them. And we've also got this stupid thing in, as well as having a, a virus, we've also got um, this thing called um, bird flu, <laughs> which was reported, which has meant that everybody with poultry has to keep their poultry inside now uh, so that they're not near wild birds where they could contract this bird flu. It's annoying. <laughs> Poor birds. Uh, and so um, I went down to see them this morning and everything was frozen as it is at this time of year and so I've defrosted them and I've looked at their bedding and it looked really sparse I thought you need a new bale of straw so I went down to the farm it's just down down the track here and Ben the the, far, the guy who farms whose farm it is uh, he was on his tractor and um, I, you know I, I was confident that he would say yes because I took my wheelbarrow with me freezing here in Sunderland yeah um, so I took my wheelbarrow and I said, look, I know this looks like I expect the answer yes, but can I have a bale of straw, please? <laughs> so the hens have got a new bale of straw and Ben and I, as we always do, uh, we put the world to rights um, uh, for half an hour in the freezing cold. Spokane, Washington State, Iowa. You're all over the place, aren't you? From upstate New York. Yes, the surprise was supposed to be that you were going to get a New Year's video, a retrospective of the last year at the last homely house. And uh, I'd found all these little clips of, um, you know, the cats doing cute things and <laughs> Hi Jane, and me doing um, what I do. And as I say, uh, dead computer, which is not that long since it died before. So. I'm not buying a new one. Right. Um, Colorado. California. Yeah, California. South Yorkshire. There you are. That's a little bit nearer to home. Waving to you in South Yorkshire. Yes, Inga. Hello, everyone. This is lovely, isn't it? So I hope you've got a bit of stitching or knitting or or something in your hands or doing something because that's the thing that's kept me sane this year is making stuff berwick on tweed that's a beautiful place and the netherlands hello rotterdam oh south america that's nice and you're crocheting good i'm liking to hear that uh, doris is doing some crochet i like hearing that people are doing something with your hands uh, I, th I blame my mother for this. She could never, ever, ever sit still and not do something. Bristol. My daughter went to university in Bristol. And you've got a cat. That's all right. You've got a cat. And um, I visited her a fair few times when she was in that three years that she was there. I absolutely love Bristol. Beautiful place. In London. That's where my son and his wife are. And a sock on the needles. Good. Yeah. It's mums. We can blame the mums, can't we? Knitting mittens. Jolly good. A sweater going on over there. Baby socks. Oh, they're easy to make, aren't they? Because you can knit a pair of baby socks in an evening. Yes, Arne and Carlos have got a sort of mock turtleneck thing, which they mysteriously call a dicky. I've never heard of anything called a dicky before. Um... 
little cotton rabbits. I I was very lucky to to get a little cotton rabbit many many years ago because her stuff when she was set I don't know if she's still selling. <laughs> Thank you, Trudy. I don't know if she's still selling originals or just patterns and stuff now. But um, I got a, a a rabbit. Her stuff used to sell out in seconds. Uh, called Tilly. She's sitting upstairs. She's absolutely gorgeous. Baby blanket, good. Shawl, all good. Ripple Afghan, but all busy. Did you visit the Bristol Orphanage when you were there? No, I didn't. I would go for a weekend and spend it with Martha. I mean, Martha might know about it, but uh, no, I don't know about that one. Clifton Bridge, I remember going there. But Martha, lived, it was lovely where she lived. And we used to go to lovely shops. We used to go for coffee and a lovely time. It was only at weekends and so on. New Brunswick. Ah, you're doing a paper piece cushion. Now, some people are snooty about sewing um, squares with English paper piecing, but I actually quite like it. You get a lovely degree of accuracy. Tiny teddy dress. And you know the thing about it, I'm a big fan of this next thing I want to say. It's not about the finished product, is it? It's about the process. I always think it's... Oh, there's Sadie. Hey, Sadie. What are you doing? Yeah, she's sitting there. I'm having a wash. I've just fed them. Hi, Margie. Um, it's a, For me, it's about the process. It doesn't matter how long it takes if I'm enjoying it. Yes, and I'm surprised too, Margaret. I wasn't intending to do a live stream. Uh, I've had a very frustrating day. Um, fair old jumper. Yes, Sadie is having a preen. She is. I've just fed them. Uh, and so, and I've just given them some cat treats. Let's do that. Look, we'll have a look at Sadie instead of me. Hi, Sadie. <laughs> yeah, um, and, and so I was so frustrated that I couldn't get this video out for you guys. I was actually literally just on the verge of going up to bed. I thought, that's not fair. I was, going to do this I'll do it like this instead yes Sizzix machine yes um, the flowers uh, thank you for mentioning those lovely flowers genie um, I've subscribed to this monthly well it's weekly but I don't want flowers every week I get a, a monthly bunch of flowers from this company called Freddy's flowers and they arrived this morning. Switzerland. And now in New Mexico. That's a big change. Oh, bye bye, Judith. Have a nice new year in Toronto. Thanks for your help last year. OK, I am doing this not as fast as I was doing them last night because I'm, you know, I wasn't talking to anybody last night, but I am getting on with them really well. The sun's still up. No, it's half past ten at night and uh, the sun goes down this time of year. At, um... oh, I'll, I'll show you, Tina, the next time I get to the end, I'll show you how time or not. Um, four o'clock, it's pitch dark. <laughs> it's not it's not fun. What sun exactly? <laughs> what sun? Although it has been beautiful. Uh, OK, well, Freddie's flowers. Uh, I um, I'm, I'm kind of okay with them. It was a funny time of year to start in the winter, because what can they send you really? Uh, wintry stuff. These are nice, uh, and um, I'm looking forward to it, um, it. It coming into spring and summer. Brilliant, lovely people. Yeah, they are great, Arn and Carlos. They really are. I hope one day we'll do a collaboration together, and I'll go there, or they'll come here. Wouldn't that be fun? When all this COVID nonsense over, we'll have a last homey house meets Arn and Carlos. <laughs> Thank you, Vicky. You're very, very welcome. Um, very welcome here on the sofa. 5.33, yeah. Uh, that would be giggles, wouldn't it, Michelle? I mean, especially Arna. I think they're so funny, the two of them. They're so different. You know, there's Carlos, who's terribly sensible and proper. And then um, Anna, who's a bit, in you know, a bit more like me, I think, <laughs> doesn't really mind about stuff. 824 people watching, which is bonkers. 
so this is at this point i say if you're not subscribed hit the hit the subscribe button because um you know i'm kind of into the numbers at the minute just threw myself in the laundry sofa oh landed on two people annie just elbows let annie in <laughs> i sometimes wonder you know if people are sitting on each other's knees and that don't i'm no i'm not linda everyone is everyone is we really are Oh, hello, Christine. Let's all say hi to the new subscriber. Thank you very much. And Margaret has <laughs> got Annie sitting right on top of her. This is what I love about this community. You... Oh, I was going to show you. OK, I learned this from that lovely um, woman who never speaks din craft or something. Is it Japanese? Is it Chinese? I don't know. Anyway, I've got to the end of my uh, sewing those two together. And, it's, and I, once of a day, I would do two or three overstitches. But now I just go in where I last came out like so and get the tail and then just go one, two, three, four. I think three would be enough. <laughs> just sort yourselves out, will you? And then pull it through. And that then has got uh, the threads got itself wrapped around it four times, which is a great knot. And it's quicker. It's the quickest knot I've ever done. That's OK. And there you are, you see, that's a nice, um, that's a nice tight knot there, not focusing. There you go. So I, um, <laughs> so Sarah literally sat down to base thread a mini quilt and was looking for something to keep me company. We'll keep you company here. We'll keep you, I don't know how long for, but I, uh, I've really felt like I wanted to connect at New Year with all you guys because I, um, what, when was the last time I, I did the doll on Boxing Day and we had a New Year, a, a, a Christmas Eve chat, didn't we? Oh, that's right. I did the Christmas Eve chat where I read the Polar Express. I love reading to kids and to people and to adult anyone. I just love reading out loud. And I got a lot of really, really, really positive comments. And so I've got another book uh, that I want to read to you. I'm not going to do it now. It's in the sitting room. But I'm gonna, I've got another book, which is very, very, it's a very good kids book about lockdown. <laughs> um, yeah. Hello from Georgia, Connecticut. Pass down the chocolates. Thank you, Catherine. And a retired nurse there. There you are, Karen. I like reading out loud. I really do. Um, and over on the old Patreon channel, I've read a fair bit. I have this ethical issue. Should I start a reading channel? I've thought about it. I have this ethical issue of copyright because uh, some things are in copyright. Obviously, most things are. Most things that are worth reading, there's some stuff that's uh, out of copyright. It's just not worth reading. I got uh, yeah, uh, New Creations has just put the kettle on. I think. Uh, thank you so much, Denise. I love reading and I particularly, do you know, Martha said to me, you read the Polar Express, Mum. You're not going to be able to read it without crying. Now, if you notice in that reading, there's, there's three edits. I had to stop. I was all choked up. <laughs> I, I am a bit of a softy. I do get pretty choked up by things. Where are all the thumbs ups? Oh, don't worry. Oh, milk, no sugar. Yeah, people are putting in their requests there for the, for the tea. OK, so that, you know, just go right. Maybe... Um, Maybe between the footstools, there could be a little occasional table with. Um, thank you, Bonnie, with um, sugar on it. What do you think about that? Milk, milk, sugar. I'm going to tell you this. Um, or should I tell you this? Yeah, I'm going to tell you. My dad, who's in care now. He's 95. And um, he's got an incredibly sweet tooth, incredibly sweet tooth. And he's been there about six months and, and uh, I was in touch with him one day and I said, is everything going all right? He said, yeah, it's all fine. We've just had to put, you know, the sugar lumps. We can't put sugar lumps on the table now for people's teas and coffees because your dad eats them all. <laughs> so they, they've got to dish out the sugar lumps. Cheese scones. Oh, great. I could just fancy a cheese scone. Thank you very much. Yeah, so no sugar lumps in my dad's care home. Bless him. Yeah, he has got the sweetest tooth. Well, he hasn't got many teeth because of that, really. Yes. <laughs> Me.
making book cushions. They're great for a charity. Book cushions. Oh, that's a thing. Oh, peppermints are coming down now. Very good. Cinnamon tea with a bit of honey. Very nice. Ah, Splendor. We've got someone who needs a, a sugar a substitute. <laughs> My dad. <laughs> he is a sugar lump fiend. He likes those mint imperials, you know, those little white sweets. And he likes um, Werther's Originals, but not one. He likes them three at a time. Hello, Rita. Are you going to come up here? No, Rita wants to go out. Come and say hi, Rita. She's not going to. So Re this is Rita. She wants to be out of the, uh, the uh, Pepsi. Pepsi's fine. Stephanie wants a Pepsi. Anyone got one? No, well, all the cats are in, but Rita wants to be out. She can't go out. It's too cold. Happy New Year from Maryland. Thank you. Hold up. What was that? An expectation of chocolate milkshake every time we visit. I think Dad's a bit like that. It's very, very strange visiting him behind a screen. Um, you know, I saw him just before Christmas and um, went down to visit him and uh, saw my brother too. And um, I don't think he has a clue why he's sitting behind a screen. Um, oh, chai tea. That sounds nice. Yeah. But yeah, it's keeping him safe. He's had the vaccine now. Uh, oh, good. Um, new creations. She's taking all the orders. New creations. I've, I'm fine. I've got my water here. I mostly drink water. Has anyone made any New Year's resolutions? I mean, it doesn't really feel like New Year, does it? Usually in January, I usually do the whole health thing and give up coffee and uh, chocolate. You know, sort of chocolate. <laughs> and um, I'm just not feeling at all like giving up anything. I feel as though we've given up such a lot this year. Um, yeah, resolving. Yes. So resolving to finish a quilt. I think having some craft goals is a good idea. Uh, but, you know, it's been my habit for the past several years in January to um, to have a you know, much healthier start to the year with um, no tea, no coffee, no sugar, no processed food. I just don't feel like it. In fact, I can't feel like it because I went shopping today and that's exactly what my bag is full of. North Carolina, hello. Rabbit Craft Shack. Sounds interesting. Oh, what a good idea. Make a quilt out of mask scraps. We are not going to need them for much longer, I hope. We get that vaccine on board and a bit of herd immunity. I think we'll be good. Ah, have I watched The Mandalorian? Now, I subscribed to Disney a few weeks ago because I thought I, um, it was when I was finishing the quilt that I made, the quilt commission, and I needed uh, some new films to watch while I was sitting for a long time so I thought well I've you know I'm sick of watching all the films I've got and all Netflix didn't have anything interesting on although there was an interesting on Netflix just recently so I've got Disney and and I looked at the Mandalorian with with um, longing and I thought if I start watching that it'll be a black hole I'll go down that, that black hole you'll never see me again so I've got to wait until um, I've got another quilt on the table and then I can start watching that. And I have got a quilt in my head. Discovery of Witches, right up your strasse. Okay, Lynn. The Discovery of Witches, Netflix? Would that be on? Because I've, I've kicked Amazon out uh, uh, in the middle of last year. I just um, deleted all my Amazon. Thank you very much, all you people who are thanking me. Definitely lost my mojo. Yeah. <laughs> Pringles yes I did watch Bridgestone that's what I just watched <gasps> wow I watched that in one sitting that's what I do I'm quite obsessive have you noticed Queen's Gambit was extremely good that was extremely good wow some good stuff on Netflix um Yes, it was saucy, Christine. 
It was saucy. I mean, he was very easy on the eye and it was pretty saucy. But I thought the story was great. And I guessed who um, the writer was uh, about halfway through. I guessed who it was. I'm not going to tell anybody just in case uh, you haven't watched it yet. It is pretty, it's pretty racy. It has to be said. Um, oh, he was in the States and the Yellowstone. Oh, dizzy. With Kevin Costner. Oh. Kevin Costner, who did that very bad Robin Hood. Robin Hood with an American accent. So you're stitching on the sofa with me, chomping on Vegemite toast and a cup of tea. Well, that sounds lovely. Nebraska, hello. All these gorgeous places. Absolutely fantastic. Do you know, for, you enjoyed Victoria, yeah. Yeah, all that, all that royal stuff they do really well. I finished watching The Crown sort of like two days after it was out. <laughs> uh, really nice. Yeah, you want some Vegemite. Now, for me, Marmite is my Vegemite, I guess. And uh, earlier today, I had some toast with Marmite on. I mean, it's like real holiday food, isn't it? I'd bake potato for my supper and toast and Marmite for my dinner. It's not really, not really celebration food, is it? Ah, hello, Fee from New Zealand. You do all know, don't you, that it is my favourite place on the planet. And it was uh, now then, 2013, it was eight years, eight years ago. Yes, I watched Unorthodox. I thought that was incredibly good. I thought the girl who played the girl was fantastic. It was New Year's Day. Was it New Year's Day eight years ago? Oh, it was a long time ago that I made the decision to go to New Zealand and three weeks later I was there. Ah, Rocky. So Carolyn's asking what happened to Rocky. So it's now it's, you know, December, January. Uh, I haven't seen Rocky since March. And so I think we're probably going to have to assume that Rocky is no more. He was looking pretty ropey uh, when uh, the last I saw him in March. He really was. In fact, I was thinking about trying to catch him to take him to the vet. But uh, I never saw him again. So I think we can probably assume that that um, Rocky is no more. What is Vegemite? Um, what is Vegemite? Uh, Aussie kids are sort of weaned on that, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, poor Rocky. I mean, I think he had a pretty good innings. And he did father uh, Sadie's kittens. There's no doubt about that. So, you know, he, he lives on in his, his legacy lives on in five cats. You're all rather wonderful. Yeah. No, there's a thousand of you. Where did you all come from? You are awesome. Totally awesome. You're from Southport. Excellent. So you're going to watch Jules. OK, I'm from Southport, <laughs> but I left when I was six, so I don't really remember it very well. But my dad and my mum and dad lived there uh, right up until, well, my dad still lives there. Yeah. And with an E is brilliant. I think I've watched that twice through. And there's one episode I've watched several times, which is when they go to uh, visit. Um, her, is it her? Um, what's her name? Diana's aunt. I just love the rooms with the bedecked with flowers. And, and uh, I just love the party and the, all the sentiments that go on around that. Is there going to be a full season? How with Gilbert and Anne sort of like establishing themselves all around the world in one sofa, yeah. And so that was um that was the episode that I liked the best of all. And that really nice kid, the boy who was the sculptor, uh, who just discovered himself. Yes, go and give that pug some dinner. Um, do that. Dogs can't wait for anybody. Hello, Sweden. Um you're on my own and about to watch the fireworks. Yes, that's exactly what I thought. I thought, you know, how many of us are sitting here on my own? He's checked out. <laughs> he has, hasn't he? Bless him. I'm singing it in my head now to see what else he did. Rocky. He had an okay time. Hello, Russia. I think you're 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 at my most uh, far flung, unique place, Chattanooga. Very nice. Anzac biscuits are coming round now. <laughs> My 
my Dalmatian pooch is snuggle. Dalmatians are um, beautiful dogs, big and, and boisterous and need a lot of exercise though, don't they? Palm Beach, South Africa, a wet one, yes. Palm Beach. I was in South Africa with my son when he was 20. Yeah, it was. Jerry, I'm with you. Very sexy. <laughs> Whew. A bit hot under the colour for a six, nearly 65 year old. But I thought I liked the. Sometimes some of those period dramas, there's kind of like a modernness about them, which I really find. I, I like that element to them. I don't know if anybody ever watched Rain which was all about Mary, Queen of Scots. Um, and, the, and, and the music was modern music and the dress was very, very up to date, sort of modern stuff. Oh, someone's unwell, get well soon. Sorry, missed that. Yeah, I got the writer um, uh, about halfway through. I suspected anyway that, that, that she was the writer. I won't tell anyone because, you know, people who um, don't mind a little bit of saucy might watch it. Um, oh, I'm missing the... Oh, yeah, stressed. Yes, Rain. I did like Rain very, very much indeed. Um, I liked Catherine. <laughs> she, if I was going to star in that, it would be... Um, I'd have been Catherine. <laughs> she was... She was terrible, wasn't she? <laughs> Better New Year. Yeah, let's hope that's true. Oh, I don't know about six times, but maybe I'm I'm behind you with maybe four times. I do like watching things over again. You find things you've missed. Um, uh, uh, you do. You find things you've missed. Hello from Scotland. There. Hello. Oh, I don't know that one. Portable tree. Portable tree. Don't know that one. Uh, no, I haven't read Josephine Cox. No. No, there's so much though, isn't there? Isn't there such a lot of fantastic um, um, films, plays, literature, music? Uh, my um, daughter's partner, Adam, I asked him for Christmas, would he make me... Um, oh, I'm working on this, it's over my shoulder here. It's Agnes's quilt. Agnes, my, my granddaughter's quilt for when she comes to stay with me when she's a bit older. And I asked him if he would make me, I have Spotify, I asked him if he would make me a, a playlist. Um, ah, hi, Valerie. I watched the Guernsey film. I, I said it right way at the beginning there. I watched the potato pie peeling film last night. Uh, and and I've, I've actually avoided watching that film for the longest time because I thought, what a stupid title. But I like Lily James and I like um, Penelope Wilton. That was like her best performance ever, I think. And I thought the story was so, so interesting um, and uh, and had a lovely ending, which is always good, isn't it? When you get a, an ending like that. So, yeah. Uh, hello from Guernsey, which is a place I'd love to um, visit one day. Yeah, mother hen. <laughs> I can't complain about people having names like that because, you know, if ever I'm on anybody's live stream or when I moderate um, Mitzi B, <laughs> I just come up as the last time he has. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, the book is better. OK, that's often the case, isn't it? Often the case. Uh, I was talking. Uh, yes, it was a good book. OK, maybe I should read the book as well then, because um, I was talking well, this was something I did for my patrons oh, uh, in um, Advent. I was reading some poems and I read a poem, a very, very, very short poem by Mervyn Peake, who is somebody who um, I absolutely love, love his writing. He was a very troubled soul. And I loved his writing. And they made a dramatisation of Gormenghast, which was very good but it wasn't anything like as good as Mervyn Peake's books, which were rich and deep and complicated. And of course, when you're making a film, I was the same, then I watched it last night. Me and you both, new creations. <laughs> uh, I, I, I just avoided it for the longest time because I thought the title was was uh, mad. Yeah. Uh, already talked to, I hope it's pr Prudence. Oh, it's Prudence. Where are you, Prudence? 
She was here. She was here not long ago. Prince is not well. <laughs> she's not well. She's lost a lot more weight, and uh, she's looking really poorly. Uh, and you love the Gorman Gaston Telly. We'll now read the books. The books are like so detailed and so um, rich. No, I haven't read anything by Elizabeth Googe. The book, in that case, the book was better. The books were better, although I did find the third book, Titus Alone, incredibly confusing. Yeah, Prudence, she's she's around somewhere. Norma's on the windowsill. Prudence, there's a big box underneath the... Uh, <laughs> we need a... We need a uh, something to to shore up the middle of the sofa. We're being told here it's sagging a bit. Ah, oh, that's nice, Jane. <laughs> um, thank you, New Zealand. All of New Zealand, absolutely everybody in New Zealand. Yeah, so Prudence is probably asleep in this big box underneath the table. Ah, uh, oh, great, Alison. Hi, Alison. Ah, <laughs> uh, good. Well, uh, yeah. I think you'll enjoy it. The dramatisation was great, actually. The, ca the casting was really good. That's it for me. Makes or breaks it if you have good casting. Uh, yeah, so I think Prudence is... I'm dancing all over the place here. But I think Prudence is probably asleep in a box under the table. Yeah, I'm sure that's where she is. Uh, it's full of packaging material that I use for my Christmas boxes. And it's lovely and soft. And thermal, probably quite warm, and she sleeps in there. Um, yeah, but you know, she she was at the vet. Crochet. Ah, Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Did you have a nice New Year, darling? You in Vienna. I hope so. Uh, how you're managing comments beautifully. Not really. I'm getting about every tenth one. <laughs> it's very kind of you to say so, though. Uh, <laughs> uh, I haven't read any Elizabeth Googe. Elliot trilogy. Okay, what about Kate Atkinson uh, with the Jackson Brody um, uh, uh, detective books? Really, really like those. Work waiting for people to ring only. Oh, okay. I hope no one rings. I never did see Outlander. Are you going to settle down? Because it's just all you. I never saw Outlander. Um, oh, children's books great because I don't know. Here we go. This is why. Sometimes I look at something like Gilmore Girls and I think there's seven seasons there. If I watch one season, I've got to watch all of them. Every single one. And I thought, have I, is there time in my life for that? And you say, it's just a hand sewing machine or hand sewing or brain sewing machine. I like both. I think they're both quite, quite different. Uh, and I like to have a bit of hand stitching for times like now. Uh Hang on, I'll get a pallet. Sure. People are doing running repairs to the sofa as we're sitting on it. So if your bit's sagging a bit too much, just move along a bit. Someone will be along in a minute with something to chuck it up. I think you're all crazy. And that's why I love you all. <laughs> yeah, so I, I look at something um, and um, think, can I devote that amount of time to it? And sometimes, it, sometimes the answer is no. But then it always will be there, won't it? Life After Life. Yeah, I have read that, Life After Life. I really liked it. It was so confusing, wasn't it? Until you got the idea. That's what Kate Atkins' books are about, though, aren't they? Incredibly confusing. And you think, what's going on here? And then you think, that's what's going on. I love how she does that. She kind of tricks you. Big thumbs are OK. I'll have to give it a go, Alison. Something like that. I can't sew if you're going to butt my hand. Yeah, so so the debate then between hand sewing and, and machine sewing, I'd say that they're very, very different. Oh, come here. <laughs> Lynn. Ah, oh, Lynn, you need more than one kettle. Linda, that's such a good idea. She's got her claw caught on my knitting here. Get your claw out. Ow. This is a bit of my hand spun that I made into a... Uh, what do the kids think about my channel? That is a good question. I will answer this in uh, detail. OK, so the kids. So in um, September, just gone, it was three years since I turned the camera on and started saying hello, YouTube friends. And to start with, I mean, you know, the, the, the history of this is that I've, I've been living on my own for 10 years now 
and uh, you know not really um not really finding what it was I was supposed to be doing in my life <laughs> put it in a nutshell and anyway so I turned the camera on hello YouTube friends you know there were 16 people watching me uh probably and and the kids were like what's mum doing what's she doing it's like she's got a YouTube channel and they were disappointed they were really kind of like oh my god what what's what new madness is this and the thing i would say to anybody who wants to start a youtube channel and now there are 1046 people watching and i'd say all of you could because it's really easy and um what i'd say to anybody who was, would wanted any kind of advice oh just a minute let's congratulate louise congratulations louise You'll enjoy retirement. You'll be able to spend ages doing all the stuff that you love. Okay, so kids have no idea. You're not wrong. <laughs> and, but then it got to be so I got to 500 subscribers and um, YouTube sent me an email saying, congratulations, Kate, you've got 500 subscribers at the last time we house. That's enough people to fill a jumbo jet. And I was really stoked. I thought this is fantastic. 500 people. Well, you know the story, on and on it goes, and it got to the point where um, it, it became more serious and I was uh, doing more um, scheduling and sort of planning and so on, all of that. And then in 2019, I launched my Patreon channel, uh, which was a bit of a game changer because it definitely, it's 11 o'clock at night now here, one hour to midnight. It definitely felt like, um, oh, this is a bit more serious now. Um it's not everyone that I like listening to, Kate, but you are one. Thank you, Christine. I think I probably enjoy listening to you as well. So anyway, Patreon started to slowly grow. The YouTube channel started to slowly grow. And, and the kids saw, oh, my God, Mum's actually making something of this. With the exception of Rita, who trusted and believed in me right from the start. She absolutely got it. She did. And um, I mean, everyone's on board now and they all help me in different ways. You know, Anna works for me uh, sometimes doing some editing, helping me sometimes with shipping, all of that. Uh, and uh, John, <laughs> John. <laughs> yeah, you remember me having 300 subs, Lorraine. I do. 500 subs, sorry. I remember it. It wasn't actually that long ago, really. And now if we look, I think it's something on something like 31 now which is just a thousand, that's, that's 31,000 of you people. And so it's it's now become kind of um, the thing that I do all the time. It, I really enjoy it. Um, the kids are really on board with it. They see the success of it. And, um, and then John, Naomi, <laughs> 32, thank you, uh, Aunt B, wow. 32.2 Muriel. Well, it's 32.2 of you, thousand of you people, and a thousand of you are sitting on the sofa right now, which is why it needed that little bit of chalking up, uh, you know, when it was, you know, a bit, I, it's all right if fix it. And it's going to need fixing, isn't it, with that many people on it? And so now, um, yeah, it's, it's become something, uh, you know, bigger than just me now. Lemon square. Are there any lemon squares left? Uh, Raquel would like one, if there are any. If you've got them, could you pass them down a bit, please? Hello, Cindy. Hello, Bedfordshire. Uh, spontaneous, yeah. <laughs> and that's why I can't make videos too far in advance, because um, we are all amazing. You're not wrong, Felicia. Felicia, are you on the live streams in the morning with um, Michelle? They're great, aren't they? I just sleep through them these days because I'm, I'm never, I never get to sleep. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so what was I was talking about. Yes, John, uh, over on the Patreon channel, I do these weekly videos of, uh, and also if I can get the computer fixed, there's going to be more uh, computer based content uh, coming up uh, tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm a bit worrying that this computer's sitting there dead, but never mind. Um, we'll get by. Uh, John's going to do uh, once a month. John's going to do a video on something like bird watching or woodwork or or natural history or he's very excited about it uh yeah very excited six hours until midnight and it's only 55 minutes till midnight here i'm not staying here till midnight 
uh, <laughs> am I? <laughs> um, YouTube recommended me um, during a year on medical leave and it seemed that the algorithm got it right. Well, I'm very pleased. The algorithm, funny old thing, the algorithm. Some people get really upset sometimes about the thumbs down. There you are, Eileen's asking about giving a thumbs up. YouTube recognise a thumb up or down as an engagement, so they count it as an engagement. It doesn't matter to them whether they're up or down. And some people get quite upset uh, about thumbs downs. I mean, there is one person who the second I post a video puts a thumbs down. <laughs> I think that's really amusing. Um, you know, they haven't even watched it yet. It's this, the, the video's been up for four seconds and there's one thumbs down. Must be somebody who's quite a sad person, but <laughs> um, never mind. Um, oh, watching from Wellington. I had a lovely time in Wellington, Fiona. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I like the uh, Te Papa uh, Museum. I stayed at the Museum Hotel. There's quite a story behind why I did that. I was a little bit out of my uh, league, but I'd, I'd had two nights there, which was a game changer. Uh, I absolutely loved it. And anyway, so the thumbs downs, it's to do with the algorithm. So the algorithm says, well, if you like videos like this one, you might like this one. And they put me in front of somebody. Somebody watches it and thinks, no, I don't like that. And they give it a thumbs down. And that just tells the algorithm, well, don't recommend that anymore. So it's very, it's very um, simple when you see it like that. It's just someone tweaking the algorithm. I don't mind. It's like I said to Anna. You know, if you're going to mind the thumbs downs, you should mind the thumbs ups too. The palettes. Oh, no. Now we need more palettes to chock up the sofa. Do I have a generic email where we can send possible ideas for Christmas projects? This is a weird one, Raven. Um, and, and so this is this is a victim of, of where we're at with this now is that so I post a video. Uh, I think the last video I posted, 700 comments. And I want to respect that and, and reply to them. And sometimes I can't. Instagram, same. So I don't post to Instagram very much. And I get a lot of direct messages on Instagram. A lot. You found the prawn. Yeah. Uh, it's all right, Yolanda. She's she's coming. Yolanda's on her way. She's got extra pallets. Um, <laughs> and so it started to be that... Um, I was getting um, messages, people contacting me from every source, emails, all sorts. And so Rita invented, not invented, uh, did an email address for the web shop. And, um, oh, yeah, did you, Wendy? Oh, if you just call Wendy Bellhouse, I'll find you. If you call something else, yes, girl Rita, my wonderful girl Rita. Gorgeous girl. She has an email address that um, is an unmonitored email box uh, where people send stuff. And I think she actually looks at them. Don't don't let me know that I told her that. Spare cushions for the pallets? Good. Oh, are we not putting the pallets underneath the sofa just to chuck it up? I thought this was a better quality sofa than this. <laughs> Nova Scotia. Must be snowing there. Decide to leave before New Year's. Um, Happy New Year if you decide to. I have no no plans to leave, but I also didn't really imagine that at 68 minutes that I'd still be sitting here at New Year. <laughs> Lorraine's lost the remote. Oh no. That always happens, doesn't it? That always happens. Ah, oh, New Zealand. Yeah, Prudence, I hope she gets better too, although it's unlikely. Um, that she's, she's going to improve much. She's the cat that I took to the vet in the summer and the vet said, why don't you leave her with me and I'll put her to sleep. And I said, no, I'll take her home and she can she can fade away at home and she hasn't. Um, and so, um, strong enough result. Thank you, Linda. Well, yes, I, yeah, I got it from a reputable shop. <laughs> the one in my head. Uh, still it's good to have running repairs yeah so you're waiting for your painting from Mitzi I wonder if without disturbing the cat I can reach over for mine sorry Norma I want to reach over for, for these paintings I got from Mitzi here they are they're just up here sitting up here so Michelle Mitzi B I'll put my sewing down a minute because I want to talk about her 
she's somebody uh, an artist who I've known for many many years I have a um, a picture of hers that I got about eight years ago that I watched her paint she's quite a, a quirky artist uh, and she does beautiful watercolors uh, really um, expressive gorgeous loose flowers and things oh beautiful long-haired grey cat is named for George Harrison that's all right then nothing the matter with that but then she's got a completely other style to her which is um you've got the two uh, yeah and which is a completely different style which is very uh well here we are these are two that i bought some time ago and so i'm just going to try and get the glare off them in fact would it be easier if i took them out of the packet it probably would wouldn't it and you wouldn't get any glare at all I, they're still in the packet because I haven't um, had any thoughts about how to frame them. But there's this one, and the, this one's called Dream Your Life Away. And this one, I'll open this one as well so that we can see them properly. You have a Mitzi floral. Yeah, so do I. No, I have a Mitzi seascape. I can't stop buying them. <laughs> but these two, are we, and this one's called Places We Take Ourselves. And so... What I love about them, um, if we put them back here, you can see that they really are a pair. So one morning I watched her paint both of these and um, I thought, and I bought one. I thought, well, I've got to buy the other one really, haven't I? It, there's such a lot of iconic stuff in here. The people always have little hearts or often. And then these swirly things here are people's thoughts. And and then there are people that aren't properly filled in. Uh, yeah, I'm going to, the cats, I think, she, well, the post, of course, over New Year. But when I get the cats, I'll show you them as well. But I just, I really love her um, intuitive style. And I'm a moderator on her live stream. And she does a live stream most mornings, not um, every morning by any means. She started it in the lockdown, uh, just doing a live stream. But the thing about it is half past seven in the morning for me half past seven uh, uh, GMT uh, and um, it's too early for me especially at this time of year uh, John on the lime green sofa John and the kids don't know I'm doing this and so they would be here I guess I got you in stitches that's good uh, <laughs> thank you very much um, so Mitzi Michelle so I put links up to her shop and so on uh, and uh, she starts painting at half past seven Greenwich Mean Time most mornings not every morning but most mornings and so and she starts away and she sticks all this pigment and and bits on a canvas and I think oh you've blown it this time Michelle and you're not going to make anything out of that and then something emerges and it's always amazing so I bought another pair of paintings the other day. You watch her do great live when I'm up. And that's my problem is that sometimes I, I get really quite bad insomnia. Where have I put my sewing? Where have I put my sewing? My hair it is. Um, and then I'm asleep at half past seven when she's painting. And sometimes I get the last five minutes. But anyway, she's quite, she's a very interesting woman. I find her fascinating uh, the way that she uh, sees she sees stuff but yeah anyway if you fancied giving her a follow uh mitzi b um michelle kral mitzi b maybe once this is all gone um let's treat me to one of your quilts for my birthday the thing about commission quilts um is um i was doing commission quilts this last year by the paintings before yeah Actually, and just to go back to Michelle, she was painting some um, cats one day on on, um, cam on canvases. And I thought, oh, I'd really like those cats. But somebody else said oh, they would have them. I thought, right, well, I'm having them tomorrow then. I thought, whatever she paints tomorrow, I'm having it. So when I saw the two blank canvases, I thought, yeah, I'm having them. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm so sorry, Lucy. Let me just have a quick look at that. I'm sorry, Lucy. Well, you and Tilly, I'm glad we're keeping you company. All these other people, 1,100 people, they will keep me company too, Lucy. 
and it's just been the saddest year it really has i'm so sorry but i'm you know if you get any kind of um um friendliness from the people who is who are sitting next to you on the sofa and tilly of course take care you must take care of yourself so it's, it's really important that we look after ourselves isn't it yeah anyway what was i talking about uh, yeah cuddle up on the sofa send down some hot chocolate we are all here for each other actually i think that's you know seriously hot chocolate aside we are all uh, at a time when everybody has got a story to tell um about some sort of sadness or other it's just so marvellous to know that all over the world, people I'll never meet, um, they're just looking out for one another. I think it's fantastic. We are family, Trudy. Mm. Oh, that's nice, Gail. Facebook is something I have a real... Oh, yes, I was talking about commission quilts. Thank you. I have a real problem with Facebook. I have no idea what, what to do on Facebook, so I give it a very wide berth. However, there is a very lively Facebook group called um, The Last Homely House, which the image is a lime green sofa. You're very welcome to go and hang out there, all of you. And I know that the admins do a fantastic job of looking after everybody uh, on there. They really do. Christine welcomes everybody by name. And uh, she's they're, they're just... Um, they're just so super friendly. Commission quilts. I was talking about commission quilts. Let me get back to that. OK, so at the beginning of 2020, then I had um, this idea that I would offer commission quilts and I budgeted that I could make so many in the year. And I overstretched myself by quite a long way. Um, and so which meant that the September quilt. I didn't deliver it until December which I was really disappointed in myself about that because that's not that's not what I um that's not what I want to do. So um there's a change now to the commission quilts. In theory, not in theory, in practice, I've got five commission quilts for um 2021. And so I'm not going to take any more on because already that seems a bit daunting. How do I learn to make a quilt? Do you know, it's never a better time, Karen, to learn to make a quilt because there are literally hundreds of YouTube videos and I would direct you to the Missouri Star Quilt Company, Jordan Fabrics and um, Quiltville Bonnie. Those three are my go-tos. There's loads more, loads more. But you'll find with Missouri Star, Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company, uh, they do a new tutorial every Friday and um, she has a real easy way of explaining. Just get it done quilts, there's another one. And then uh, Donna at, at Jordan uh, Fabrics, she also has a, a really um, easy way of explaining uh, how to uh, put a quilt together. And then why I like Bonnie at Quiltville uh, and Missouri Stars Best for Beginners, I was going to say, Sharon, you're not wrong. Bonnie has a, a very good... Um, method of managing your fabric um strip management and you know how to store stuff i haven't watched bonnie in quite a while i can't i can't work that out why haven't i gene true love is good i don't know that one yeah and youtube do you know there's nothing you can't learn on youtube i mean i've got some quilt tutorials but uh bits and pieces scattered back throughout the you know the last three years but uh, i definitely recommend um those two people it's very nice to have linda here doing doing moderating but you know i don't think and pat slow yeah that's another one um is and bonnie's doing a mystery right now um, Bonnie's mystery quilts and Bonnie's leaders and enders and scrap management. I think she's got a real style about her. I haven't watched her for a while though, uh, for some reason. Let's get a new bit of thread on here. See, I've done all of that. That's good, isn't it? Thank you. A couple of years ago. Thank you. Bit more cotton. Bit more cotton. 
Oh, oops, a daisy. I'm using um, my absolute favourite. Oh, it's very nice that you came, Carol. Thank you. The sofa has got to be a bit eased now. Someone's getting off it. This pale grey Aurifil is what I use. Uh, I like Aurifil. It's got a very long staple, so it's nice. It doesn't break. Uh, both ladies are great. Yeah. So the so I don't I don't think there's a better time to learn anything. <coughs> Whatever you want to learn about anything, cooking. Um, <laughs> You know, I can't even list the things you can learn. What is the number of that colour of Aurifil? 38. And it's kind of like dove grey or something, but it's... Do you know, I'm absolutely wrong. This is Gutterman. This is not Aurifil. This is Gutterman. Oh, which is great too. I Yeah, I just picked it up from the rack here. This is Gutterman. 38. Made in Germany. Lovely. Oh... Love your videos. Oh, you are so sweet. You are all sweet. And we're on uh, such a lot of people. Okay, guys, you're going to have to help me out here. When am I going to stop? What's going to make me stop? So Chris is off to make her dinner. That's good. Yes, Dove Grey Aurifil, which is what I thought I had here. It'll be somewhere. In fact, is it in there? No, it's somewhere in another bag somewhere because I use it most of the time but gutterman's good variegated aurifil let me see if i can find put my hand on it because the last quilt i've just finished quilting uh i quilted it in a variegated aurifil which is called marrakesh and it has become my absolute favorite um if you watch the pot chocolate potato chip bark that was such a funny video to make because i had the um i mean i'm not someone who wears t-shirts there's a message from a friend of mine in. Um, oh, you watching my live feed, Imogen? <laughs> watching your live feed. Hello, Imogen, <laughs> my lovely friend. <laughs> say hello. Say everyone, say hello to Imogen. She's a really good mate of mine. <laughs> She's watching my live feed. She's just Elizabeth. I need to. I need to talk to you, Elizabeth. Change the heat. changing the heat element in your oven after watching a tutorial exactly i mean you can i mended the toilet once the flush wouldn't work and i thought i'm gonna have to get a new toilet everyone's saying hello to imogen <laughs> you've got a little imogen fan club going on there i've known imogen for a long long time a long time and uh yeah our kids are similar ages we used to do the family camps together it was great fun yeah. So happy new year, Kate. Sorry for your oh yeah. Time take time to grieve. So, yeah, I'm smiling right back at you. <laughs> and and, and, and eleven hundred people are smiling at you, Imogen. Ah, oh, thank you for the soap. Um, you're very welcome. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing any more soap from Kerry um uh in the new year. I haven't made any uh, decisions really about that. Uh, but I was, t yeah, Elizabeth, will you message me on Patreon, Elizabeth? Because you're the only person I haven't spoken to in that tier. And I just need to be sure that you're happy with what's, what's going on. Who's Imogen? Imogen's a good friend of mine, Karen, who uh, lives in the south of England, um, lived in Brighton for a while, now lives in the south. And she is... Um, She's a good mate. She's got three girls. She's got more grandchildren than me, which, you know, thanks, Elizabeth, which is um, nothing. I, I can't do anything about that. But I've now joined the grandma club with Imogen. You've got loads of them, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, she's a mate. I have some lovely friends. Try English paper piecing. Good, Shirley. You have to uh, uh, just relax with it, basically, I'll say. Five. She's images messaging me rather than putting messages on here. So that's what all these noises of hunting horns you can hear. What time is it? It's 25 past 11. Heather, hello. You made it. I wondered if you'd turn up. <laughs> so let's have a let's see who's got the most grandchildren. We've got a six there and you're very busy. Yeah, I've got one. 
120. Oh, Enid, you must go to sleep wherever you live in the world. 120 is far too late to be up. You need to get up tomorrow and do things. Three, yeah. 13, Tess. Okay, she wins. Tess wins, hands down. 13. <laughs> That's amazing. Will I stay on till 2021? Linda. Well, it's 25 minutes, 35 minutes. What do you think, folks? I mean, I, I kind of will if you want me to. Uh, I had a nap earlier, <laughs> so I'm feeling okay. Seven, and made each a quilt for Christmas, Diane. That's amazing. Barry over. Yes, Barry. Um, well, now we're in tier four. Barry, Joe and Barry can't come. Uh, my, my grandmother had 32 grandchildren. Oh, we're onto the prize now. That's the, definitely the prize. Bigger families, I guess. I think we all want to stay together. I think we do. Um, and so Joe and Barry, who live at Alston uh, and have a business um, doing what they do for me, a bit of cleaning Joe does and a bit of, um, I mean, handyman stuff. Will you ever a uh, YouTube on hand quilting? Um... Yeah, I've got loads of hand quilting on my YouTube. Do you know one of the things... Naps are good, Wendy. Just spotted that. One of... The, here's Rita. Let's put that down and say hello to Cat Rita. You almost never see Cat Rita. She's such a nice cat, this one. Yes. 62 grandchildren. Oh, this is now mad. I can't cope with this. 62 grandchildren. Well, you wouldn't remember who they all were. And you definitely couldn't remember everybody's birthdays. Let's celebrate the new year. Oh, let's go for it, guys. Let's go for it. Let's do a happy new year together at 11 at, at midnight. OK. All right. <laughs> I will. Because I'm not tired. And what would I do? I'd just go straight to bed. What was I talking about? I was talking about something else. Um, and then she turned up. Isn't she lovely? Now, there's, um, she's, it's healed now. But she had a bad gash on her head. Um, it's properly healed now. It's perfectly fine. And I think she got into a fight with uh, one of the other cats on the farm. 13 grands, five great grands, bring it on. Wow. You must have a sort of like a, a dedicated calendar for, um, you know, just with the grandkids on so that, you know, you can, um, <laughs> you can just remember who they all are. Oh, another hello to Imogen there. You're lovely, aren't you? She's a sweet cat. She's a very shy cat, this one. She's nine. There's a nine there. Um, okay, yeah, okay. I'm okay. I will stop at just after midnight, though, but it would be nice to see in the new year with people. That would be lovely. Because otherwise, I'm just seeing in the new year with a bunch of cats. But yeah, she's this one. She's, um, she, she's, if there were people, if you, if you 1100 people were here, She'd be well out of the window and, and off. She's very skitty cat. And her colouring, she is beautiful, isn't she? She's a beautiful cat, this one. And I named her Rita before Owen got together with Rita. And I did say to girl Rita, I said, look, I'll change her name if you like. Because um, it's confusing <laughs> if we've got um, if we've got two... Uh, two Rita's in the family and she said no it's fine I don't mind yeah happy new year to you Heather I hope you're okay she said no it's fine you can carry on calling her Rita so that's why she's called cat Rita and girl Rita absolutely yes Rita's my favorite no she's not Norma's asleep over there I love them all I really do for different reasons they're quite different yeah she I think I think Rita likes being called girl Rita Brisbane. Hello, Brisbane. You had a cat called Egypt. OK. Oh. Yeah, so this is this is a rarity that we get this beauty. Six. Is that six grandchildren? We're back to grandkids now. Seven. Uh, we've had we've had the winner. I think we had something like nine thousand some, somewhere. I would have thought that we'd be attending a party with a thousand friends. Thank you. That's such a lovely thing to say because I was all set to go to bed with the hot water bottle. And you, Teresa has a cat called Frank and Anna has a dog called Frank. 
who has his own hashtag, Anna's Dog Frank. Yeah, I'm, I'm pleased she's getting a little bit of um, attention because she almost never does. And she's ever so sweet. Uh, the kids. Um, Owen and Rita live in London, so no, I don't see them. And John and Anna are in a bubble with me because if you, now that we're in level four, this is still the case. If you're a single person, um, I think it's so that you, you know, they know that you're not going to go around the bend. You're allowed to see one other family. And uh, Anna does a bit of work with me, uh, doing a bits of video editing and helps with shipping and so on. And if there is any ever. And um, John um, is just an all round good egg. <laughs> <laughs> and he's 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 just such a helpful guy he really is oh yeah i was talking about joe and barry wasn't i uh i just sorry i'm scatty all over the place here joe and barry um so yeah their business now is in uh tier four and um so they can't do they can't they can't come uh we saw anna's dog frank in a video yes Anna's dog Frank is, is uh, featured in a video. I'm not a big fan of dogs, uh, uh, but um, and he chases my cats, and he is half Bedlington Terrier, Margaret. Um, that's what Frank is. He's whippet crossed with a Bedlington, uh, and he's actually a really sweet dog. Uh, but he, um, yes, John, good egg. Uh, seeing Agnes, um, and to be utterly truthful, I saw Agnes yesterday. Because Martha uh, and Adam uh, came over to collect something locally to me and they nipped in. Now, that was before the tier four was uh, was called. Uh, it's still not allowed. And so, yeah, I saw her and she's absolutely gorgeous. Sweetest little girl. She's walking all over the place now. She's absolutely amazing. Yeah. So having decided to stay till midnight, I've got half an hour now. Yes, giggles, tell no one about that tell no one you've got such a memory for that stuff heather so i really enjoyed making thank you susan agnes's doll uh and i made it and then posted that video about it on uh, boxing day oh what's that i just missed that one i just want to see that one yes you're getting the vaccine tomorrow husband he works in the pharmacy and he's essential worker yeah good that's great, Rita. And I think the more we roll out this vaccine, the better the world's going to be. I really do. Pottery. Oh, that's such a question. I so want if I, I have no New Year's resolutions. End of. Except for getting back to pottery. I really want to get back to pottery. I do. But uh, I just don't know how. Firstly, it's time. Um, yeah, Grandma TV. <laughs> that's exactly right. And now this this computer's sitting in front of me dead. I'm on my iPad at the moment and there's a dead computer here. I don't know how long that's going to take to fix. Uh, Agnes gave the doll a lovely big hug, Pamela, and uh, really, really likes it. And um, what was I saying? I'm, t I'm trying. I'm answering questions. I'm trying. My head's sort of bursting. I can't remember what I was saying. Um, the doll hair. The doll hair, uh, when I, I had the idea to make Agnes a doll, that was always ever going to be the doll hair. And, uh, oh, pottery. I'm sorry about pottery. Thank you, Janice. God, I'm like a butterfly. I'm all over the place. Let's talk about pottery. Let's forget the doll hair for now. Yes, pottery. Two options with pottery. The first one is that I go back to the little pottery studio that I established three miles away, which is my friend who has a pottery. And, you know, has been very much wanting to social distance. So I haven't been there at all. But the second option is that when the pottery opens in Newcastle, my college, where I was going to learn about pottery, uh, I would be really up for signing up for going there again and going there for, you know, one morning a week. But there's no um, chance at all. Of, of that opening until well probably after the spring really after the Easter break so if don't worry Marilyn you're not late it's okay it's not really been a party it's just been like fixing the sofa at one point lots and lots of tea <laughs> oh John isn't he funny Cheshire Cats he's just he cracks me up 
So pottery is something I really, really want to get back to doing. I've got some plans for what I want to do with the pottery um, next year. Um, and um, I really hope that I manage to get back to the college to do some more of that. If not, um, yes, I'm definitely, Teresa, I'm going to be making loads of things. Um, yeah, I, pottery, I love it. I love doing pottery. Too many years since I've done any. Well, it's the whole of this last year, 2020, nothing. Done nothing at all to do with clay. And it, I, it's a shame because I was really, really enjoying it. Really enjoying it. Um, <laughs> ah, Maisie. Did that, is that what you ended up calling her? That's nice. Hi, Chris. Someone passed Chris something because she's got a cat on her chest. She can't move. <laughs> yeah, so pottery. I'll get back to pottery. I will. But maybe after Easter, that's going to be when it happens. It's, it's quite hard. There's lots of elements to it, um, to, loads to learn. Do I paint my pottery? I glaze my pottery. Uh, have I got some? Look. I had some rice pudding earlier on and here's my little bowl. This is, I never really made anything other than this. This is, I have my rice in. This is um, stoneware with an earthenware glaze and which fired in a gas kiln. And it means that you get these lovely toasty little bits of um, glaze on. But then if I can, I haven't got any to hand because I didn't really think I'd bring that pottery. I didn't bring any over. So there isn't any here, no. But I like to make the blue pottery as well, which has got little spatterings of blue on it, which is from um, cobalt oxide. It's beautiful. So that's what I'd like to do. I'd like to go back to doing some more of that. And yeah, this is what I want to make. I want to make bowls, more bowls and plates. Uh, no, I haven't got a plate here either. But the plates that I make... <laughs> Owen said something the other day uh, when he oh six months ago or so, and um, he was wanting he was missing being home. He said, "Mum, he said I'm missing I'm missing home." He said, "I want to eat scrambled eggs from your hens on one of your wonky plates." And yes, there are some more suitcases to open. Let me just get that one. Jackie is asking, "Are there more suitcases to open?" Two more, and I'm saving them up. I mean, if I ever get this computer to work, <laughs> but I'm saving those ones up because those ones are a bit special. So there's two more suitcases, possibly three. I, th I definitely know there are two. Yeah, pottery. I'll get back to pottery, but I do too many things. You know that, don't you? It is It is one. Um, you got one of my pincushion pots. Those were the little. Are there any more drawers? Hundreds of them, Stephanie. So much more tidying up to do in this house. Um, someone wake the kids up and tell them what mum's doing. Ah, <laughs> well, two of my kids are in a completely different time zone at the minute. Um, they are three hours behind me because uh, Rita's gone to visit her mum, but um, and Owen, but the others are probably uh, the ones with the child are asleep, I hope, and the other two are probably having a gentle uh, new year on their own. Stories when you open the drawers. Yeah, there are so many uh, drawers and stories like that. Uh, so, yeah, suitcases and drawers. And so many cupboards as well. Because um, there's just... Uh, sad to say, I actually got rid of three cupboards just before Christmas. And I didn't film it. Sorry. Sometimes I do stuff and don't film it, you know. I know that's hard to believe. But I do. Sometimes I do. <laughs> yeah, the curtains are just here. The curtains. I closed the curtains earlier on because it's night time, of course. And there's uh, Norma asleep on the windowsill. Let me see her there, look. And uh, because there's a radiator right underneath her. So she's in the warm spot there. Yes, I like those too. Hand build. Hand building is not something I... Um, I know, it's it, Inga. It's uh, it's a scandal, isn't it? <laughs> hand building. I, I never really got into hand building. I really like throwing. Uh, yes, I am, Linda. Uh, thank you for telling folk. Uh, 1,100 of you. Good. Hello from Germany. Yeah, so Germany, I'm guessing you're an hour ahead of us. 
uh, and Sandra, are you, oh, Sandra's here. Are you an hour ahead of us as well, Sandra? So it's probably New Year already for you guys. So I appreciate you giving up your time to come and sit with me. 4.30 in Arizona, yeah, you've got the rest of the day to go before it's New Year for you. Uh, <laughs> this New Year, yeah, Sandra and Linda are just going to say hello to one another. They're good mates. Asking for lotto numbers. Ask who for lotto numbers, Heather? John? No. Oh, ask him. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. Somebody asked me a question. No, no, no cockerels. There's no boys on this farm, uh, on this part of my, the farm, apart from drones in the beehive. And you need to have that. You need drones. But what I love about that is that, that at the end of the season, all the girl bees drive all the drones off. <laughs> um, a person I heard of us, I just got that, Heather. They drive all the drones off because they don't want to feed them all through the winter. <laughs> and then they have to, the queen lays new drones next spring. Is this your first live on YouTube? I did a live on YouTube, Em, um, uh, about 18 months ago and I really didn't like it. And I did it wrong. I really think I did it wrong because what I did was I asked for questions beforehand and then I answered the questions. And uh, how old is Cat Rita from Newcastle? Oh, uh -huh. um, eight. She'd be nine in September coming coming up. And her sister Prudence, who's somewhere around there, eight, those two. Uh, yeah, so the bees, uh, yeah. I, uh, this time of year, I am so worried about the bees. I just, uh, you know, I just hope they're okay. I've done all I can do to batten them down for the winter. I'm not sewing, am I? Leaving to walk the dog, that's fine, Susan, off you go. Yeah. Oh, oh, glasses are not on head. Oh, that's quite multicultural there, Wendy. I don't need to w ever worry about watering the bees. They've got so much water round about in Northumberland. Yeah, they're all fine. Yeah, so I did that one live stream. I asked for questions a week beforehand and then I answered questions and it was too hectic. How many hives do I have? Well, I have um, two and it's whether I get both of them through the winter or not. Um, <laughs> and um, because it's, it's the cold is not so bad, surprisingly, but it's the wet. They don't like the wet. So. It's always a worry at the beginning of the uh, spring when the first um, tree pollen is out. Uh, hello from uh, Arlene. Hello. Uh, what was, who do I remind you of? Yeah, I, I think maybe grandmas in the past, you know, it's like and my mum, she would just have a go at anything. Arlene is fantastic. Uh, I went down earlier on to give them all some straw. Hey, don't do that. All the hens, some new straw. Uh, Eileen won't go inside at night. Uh, she just won't, even though she's got somewhere to go. And um, she just sleeps outside in the cold. That's what she does. Claudia is from New Zealand and everyone from New Zealand gets extra special respect from me. So hello, Claudia. The paper inside the hexagons, yeah. I'm going to take it out at the very end. It's this quilt I'm doing over my shoulder here that's on the back wall and I'm going to make it all and then I'll take the paper out at the end. I'll have a, a paper taking out day, uh, even though it might be really quite big. I'm going to, uh, I, I put a load more on this quilt. Um, yes, well done, Stephanie. That's all right. Uh, everybody, who, even people who don't like bees, usually like honey. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I'll take the papers out at the very end. Oh, Argentina. It's nice to see people from uh, Russia and Argentina and places. Oh, there's my hater turned up. <laughs> Great. Hello. <laughs> oh, this tickles me. <laughs> you, you, is this hives, Betty? You got 44 hives. I'd like more hives. I'm pretty high up here. Starting tomorrow. 48 hour fast. Okay, Linda. 
decided to do one for the first week of every month. Yeah, fasting is, is actually a really interesting thing to do. Didn't drink water, but uh, uh, fasting. I've done a bit of that in the past and it, it actually gives you a lot of clarity. No, never seen a fox. Uh, it's very strange where I live here. Uh, there's all sorts of things that are predators. And um, a couple of years ago, all of my ducks were taken by otter, believe it or not. Absolutely. But um, no foxes here. None. Um, yeah, nothing. Bye, Molly. Molly's off. I don't blame you. I've been here for 105 minutes. That's the longest talking I've done. Otter. Absolutely, Heather. Believe it or not. There was a two families of otter two, two winters ago uh, who came to the lake here and um, they took one of my ducks every day, every night. No, nothing like muskrats or anything like that. It's actually really quite dull uh, in terms of animals here. That's the normal stuff. How long have I been vegetarian? What you decide to go at me? I've been a vegetarian forever, um, really. I mean, I think when the kids were little I, uh, and, you know, growing up, like they did you know I would cook meat for the ones who wanted it and if ever I had a um you know my, I have a family who visit my nephew and his family and their meat eaters I wouldn't I wouldn't mind cooking it for them but then now I even mind that and so yes that's true Linda thank you although the computer's still dead I don't know what I'm going to do with it uh, as a door nail but no so I've um it I'm uh just you can't see wild bees. Fantastic. Fantastic. You have armadillos. Hang on a minute. Heather's got armadillos in her garden. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. I just have, you know, crows and rooks. Oh, I don't answer those questions, Lynn. <laughs> um, and so I... Um, yeah, I don't eat. I, I just I think for me living on my own, I like um, I like my food not to go off. <laughs> Any vegetarian recipes I could share? Oh, hundreds and hundreds of them. But tonight I had a baked potato with grated cheese. That's about as good as it gets. And so come on, everyone else is having coated armadillo. You have foxes in London. Yeah, Owen has a fox in his back garden. Armadillos, rabbits, no, no rabbits, because I have four cats and there are four more cats on the farm. So there's eight cats, so the rabbits don't stand a chance. Iguana, oh, this is amazing. Hello, Carol from Canada. Black bears, okay, you win, Gems, you win. Yes, that nut roast is a favourite, I make that. Uh, if when I can be bothered, just lately I haven't been able to be bothered to cook. Thank you. Everyone. Possums and raccoons. Dear me. Oh, you have snow. I think I'm going to have snow soon. Um, and kangaroos. What a fantastic world we live in. Let's just pause for a second and think about how amazing the world is. Where there are armadillos and... and um, um... Alison, I have something to tell you about that. Um, I'm I'm not going to tell you yet, though. That's all I'm going to say about that, Alison. But I'd say just keep watching on Patreon if I get my if I get my computer fixed. A little bit of a clue there, uh, Jane. We've talked about Rocky, and um, we reckon that Rocky is no more. I haven't seen him since March last year. Uh, Munt Jack in Warwickshire. Those are those little deer, aren't they? Yes, I am dizzy, Margaret. You're not wrong. And there's somebody who's uh, uh, in Spanish, but I can't read, so I can't answer you. I'm sorry. Not getting to any people's posts. What? Elk. <laughs> you could leave me a link to that one. Good. Lots of cooking going on. This is New Year cooking, I think. Rattlesnakes. Now, this is the... What, one of the reasons why I love living in the UK. We've got no snakes, we've got no bears. We've got nothing that's going to rip your head off if you walk across a field in the dark. Nothing that's going to poison you if you stand on it. I really like that, actually. No spiders that are going to sit inside your shoe and kill you if you get put your shoe on. 
Yeah, you should have brought a flask. Okay, I think I did. <laughs> have you seen the guy that feeds loads of records in his porch? No, no, I haven't. But I, uh, and that's what I love about living in the UK, is is how uh, we're very moderate, we're very middle of the road. <laughs> you haven't got anything that's going to kill you. Uh, I have deer. Um, there's a couple of deer that nest, nest, <laughs> the nest. They make their home in the front woods here, just in front of the treehouse. And uh, sometimes in the summertime, if I'm up really, really early in the morning, um, I'll see it, one of these two deer. And um, yeah, they're amazing. Nest, what's in my flask? Water, always. Water. Yeah, still my drink really. Uh, okay, Manifi does our. Ah, uh, it is nice, Doris, isn't it? I think everyone on the sofa is actually. It's like it's a massive big hug. <laughs> uh, Arizona, hello. That's nice. Get these little mental images. I like knitting very much. I really like knitting. Uh, what did I knit recently? Well, I knit that thing for um, Agnes's doll. What have I knit for me? I knit this. This was very simple uh, from my hand spun. I haven't knit anything. Uh, the thing about Agnes's... Um, thanks, Linda. Other grandma is a fantastic knitter. So anytime you see Agnes in a hand-knitted sweater, it's the other grandma. And I'm thinking, well, there you go. That's something, uh, she's got that covered. I perhaps don't need to. Uh, thank you, Paula. I loved making it. I really loved making it. Uh, okay, people are wanting bubbly down the lime green sofa. Uh, you're in Lebanon. Uh, well, I'm lucky, actually. Uh, if uh, Agnes is so sweet. She really is. She's a lovely little girl. Uh, did you follow a pattern for Agnes' doll? I did. If you go to the post about Agnes's doll, I link to it. It's someone called Amy Scott and I found it on um, Pinterest. And what was absolutely lovely was somebody must have told Amy about the video and she watched it and left a comment. How lovely is that? So I was able to um, thank her properly in the comments um, for um, the lovely pattern. There was a couple of... Um, things in the pattern that I could I, so there's a piece uh, excuse me there's a piece in the pattern where you've stuffed the arms and the legs and then you've made the body and then the idea is then that you you put the arms and legs on the inside and then sew up the body no no way um Peter Jackson directs is doing it yes I saw that Diana I saw the trailer for Peter Jackson's um Beatles thing yeah, so if you've got all the limbs inside this doll and you try to sew it up, I had to do it by hand because it wouldn't fit underneath the machine. I'm glad people are counting down for me. Thank you. Uh, it's really good. Yes. Uh, tickets for the sofa. Do we need them? There's always space. There's always space. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure you need to pre-book it. I mean, you can if you want to be sure, sure of getting a cushion. That might be the only way. Someone's got some cherry vodka there. That's coming down. Pattern for the doll sweater. No, so many people asked me in the comments about the pattern for the doll's cardigan and the socks. I got the dress pattern from the pattern, but I made it up out on my head. And uh, and basically you just have the doll in front of you and cast on some stitches and, and put it against the doll and think, yeah, that's about enough. And then just keep knitting until it's about the right length. It's easy, really. It's easy and, and, and that because it's so small, it goes so quickly. You could bring your own cushion. That would be fine. Just in case the cushions are a bit thin on the ground. That's true. 12,000. Wowzer. It's wonderful. So nice to have the company of all of you people here. A good strong cup coming up. Ringing the bell next to the subscribers. Yeah, that helps. That that will tell you when, yeah, that will notify you if there's a post. And this was not planned to be 
114 minutes and 39 seconds. Not at all. So what are we going to do at New Year? It's only six minutes away, guys. Are we all going to combust? What are we going to do? We're all going to, um, uh, I don't know. Well, it's only, new, it's only New Year for me, isn't it? There's quite a lot of you people who are watching just now who've got who for whom it is already been new year or who have got to wait hours that's the way it goes no i don't monetize my channel this is a, a, a it's quite important for me i mean there'll come to a point where youtube because youtube tell me all the time that i should yeah when you your channel kate you would get this much money and one of these days i'm gonna have to say oh god all right then Hello, Indigo Sky. You're in the UK, so you're going to be uh, old lang signing at uh, in five minutes time. Yeah, I, I've got this thing about ads. I have the I've subscribed to the premier thing or premium, whatever it's called, so that I don't have to watch ads anywhere. I can't bear them. It's just like it's, it's just so um, intrusive. We'll see how we go. You know, it's not that important, is it? Bring a sleeping bag. OK. Uh, oh, someone's passing down the gin. I don't think there's any rules about any of this. <laughs> Holland, it's already 2021. Yes. So, Sabine, happy 2021 to you. It's already next year. Oh, God, can't we wait for it to be uh, well into next year and have this lot over and done with. Six hours to go in Alabama. And you would watch them. Thank you, um, Jackie Rock, Jackie Rock. Uh, if if I monetize them, quite a number of people have said that to me, that they would watch. They would watch ads. It's still a thing for me. It's still a big deal. And uh, we'll stick. I take a lot of advice from Rita about this. Yeah, I had fireworks here earlier, Inga. I, I, I Rita is my uh, go to for this. Not this cat that's on my knee here. But the girl, yeah, yeah. What a year it's been. <laughs> it's been a fine, it's a fantastic year. This this time last year, uh, at the beginning of um, 2020, when we all had such hope for a fantastic year, I had some ideas about where I might go for holidays. Um, uh, stuff that, the cats would be afraid of fireworks if I let them out, but I don't let them out uh, when there's a chance of fireworks ever. Yeah, and I live in a very remote place. I mean, my neighbour who lives half a mile away, she has them. Oh, lovely. Bowl of nuts. Make sure there's some cashew nuts in there. That would be good. So I appreciate not having them. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't. Yeah, oh, it's going to be a debate that runs and runs that one. But I, uh, I, I, um, I am guided by Rita in this one. She's so got such a savvy head on her, that girl. She really has. She's great. And we'll just see where we go with it. More, more important things in life, aren't there? Oh, good riddance, 2020, chickadee. I can't even agree with you any more than, than saying yes. Good bloody riddance to 2020. What a year it's been. And all the politics as well, which we are not going to talk about. But all that's been awful. Ah, oh, dear me. Have I always lived in England? Yes, I have. I do love visiting other places, though. I really do. I'm glad you've all helped me get through it as well. Three minutes. Good. This is nice. I'm glad I stayed here till midnight. Well, I am going to go just after midnight, guys. Otherwise, this is going to get silly. But look how much sewing I've done. I've done one whole run. In fact, I've got about five left and I'll have done run one. Yeah, well, having a purpose like this has been... Um, uh, a good focus for me you know what would i have done if i hadn't had um you know videos for you guys to make and and uh, you know lovely things to make for the shop and and also visiting all my lovely friends who i mean it was an absolute joy last year going to see all these people and and commissioning all these products uh, from them for for folk i really really loved it it was great see that was see that red dot there i nearly picked up the wrong end that's why it's good to have that. So I know I've got to pick up this end. Simple things. The dog and pony show for our... Yeah. 
don't even talk about I don't even know why I brought it up. Personal responsibility. That's what we're going to do. So you sewed two strip sets without bobbin. Oh, no. Oh, God, you were sewing thin air. I'm sorry. Oh, it's so annoying that when, when, you, when your bottom bobbin runs out. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Alaska. Hello, Alaska. Wow, what an amazing place Alaska is. Oh, someone got an eye on the time because it says a minute to midnight here. Hang on a minute. I better get my, my actual clock up. Oh, two minutes to, mid to midnight. Oh, one minute to midnight. Oh, let's get the countdown going on here. And what are we going to do? We're just going to combust. <laughs> You're all really awesome. You really are. Ah. <laughs> uh, that's exactly why I'm doing this, Joanne. Oh, hello, Joanne. Hi, Joanne. I missed you. I missed you. There you are. Happy New Year, Joanne. You've popped a cork and raising a glass to better times to come. That's what we're going to do. OK, just a minute. Let me see if I can get this clock up here. Oh, world clock. Just a minute. Uh, clock. World clock. Here we go. Look, that's what the world clock looks like. Can you see it? Is it backwards? And it's, I want it with the actual clock though. Oh, I'm going to mess this up, aren't I? No, 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 no. I will have to do it on this one. World clock. No, can't do it. One minute. Oh, somebody tell us how we're doing. There's, oh, it is. It's, it's now tomorrow. It's now next year. Rita, Kat Rita and I wish you very, very, very happy new year. Very happy new year. <laughs> yes, should all equate all of that. We'll be singing all Lang Syne. I won't sing. That wouldn't be a good ending to this live stream. But you know that I am singing it with you. And welcome to 2021, everyone. And just let's take the spirit of um, friendliness forwards with us. Just let's be creative imaginative and friendly that's what we're going to do i'm so pleased that i decided to do this and that my computer wouldn't cooperate otherwise you'd have been just watching a hello lucy hello uh you'd have been watching um a video of, of the last year of the last homely house so did you is is oh no of course it's not where lucy lives it's not new year's yet is it let let nora stay up a bit late <laughs> Thank you so, so, so much, everybody, for being here. And so um, it's it's 2021 here in Northumberland. You, you Yours will be coming along quite soon. And fireworks happening there. Thank you. Good night, Heather. And a very, very happy new year to everybody. I've really enjoyed that. That was really great. Absolutely excellent. And if you ask me a direct question and I didn't get to answer it, then I'm sorry about that. But for now, oh, sorry, Rita, Rita and I are going to say good night. Good night. Take care. Thank you very much for being here. <laughs>